Peace, family. It's Essie the Gardener. I'm back out here again. I told y'all I was going to bring y'all some of this finished uh, look of what I've been working on. So, did y'all guess what I was doing? All right. I'm going to lift her. I'm going to lift it up a little bit so y'all can see what I'm doing out here. And I waited till the sun um, went down and got a lot of stuff done around the yard before I came back to it. So, let me bring it up closer so y'all can see how cute it's looking. Y'all guess? Did y'all guess what that is? Y'all should know by now. It just don't have no eyes yet. <laughs> okay. So, what I did do, you guys, was I took it out of the mold. And I wanted to demonstrate, you know, how it comes out of the mold. And I'm not even going to be able to finish this up because I need the black to dry. But what I'm going to do is start this one here. And I'm going to start that one. So once you get it out of the mold, you want to spray paint it your red or whatever color you want to make your ladybug. And so here's an example of me taking it out of the mold. So it's going to look like this. And you might have an indentation. I got to figure out a way to not have that indentation. Probably put the, maybe sit the bowl inside something where it can have that, um, it won't be so flush to a flat surface so to continue to have that boil effect but being that it was laying on the table like that it caused it to have a little indentation right here which is no big fuss I ain't worried about that so what you want to do is get your spray paint like I said it's gonna take a little it's gonna take some time because you want this to dry thoroughly and what I messed up on so you want to just spray paint it, maybe about three, three to four layers of paint. It's going to dry real fast. It's a really fun project, you guys, and I really want to get these done so I can move on to the next project that I want to do. It's going to be really cute. But it's going to be a little bit more time consuming and it's probably going to be a little bit more messier the other project that i want to do all right so that's all you're going to do you're just going to spray paint it red i will let it set um i will let it set overnight just come back every couple of hours and put another layer on it and just keep doing it like that till you see it has that nice thick coating so bring this one in so you guys can see this one came out really nice it just had that little indentation from where you uh where the ball is put together no big fuss they don't have to be perfect you just want people to be able to look at it and say oh it's a ladybug <laughs> so i'm gonna um blacken it out get the face get the polka dots in it and then tomorrow i'm gonna come back and do the facial part which is just the eyes and maybe some little eyelashes you don't even want to make it look cute you can do little googly eyes cross-sided whatever if you're a painter like that um so once i finish these i'm just gonna i'm thinking about putting them in my gravel so when you walk through the trellis area you can see them you know as you're stepping around they just look cute i think it's just a a, a real cute um uh, gardening decor to add to your garden. My dog just came out of the house like he's human. He's so funny. <laughs> but, um, and, um, so that's what I'm gonna, uh, finish doing that. And, matter of fact, let me see how it's sitting with the front area. Yeah, this one has that little steep, um, and what I did forget to do, you guys, and I thought I had some because I went through my Picasso area probably a couple of years ago where I was painting all the time. But um, I forgot to get acrylic paint, so I had to use the can spray paint and put the black paint inside here. So, um, you know, what you want to do is start your, the facial part. You know, you can make it as big as you want. And you can do your divider line. As you're doing that it's real simple you guys so that's your little divider and then you could continue on with the facial part you know carve out your little facial part I 
I hope everybody's having a happy, happy Friday. I had a great day today. I got so much done today, you guys. So what I started to do was cover up this area, like put a, a level of tape on it so that I could spray it on, but I just didn't want to take a chance of the black spray getting on everything. So I said, well, let me do it like this. And I'm gonna turn it around so y'all can see what I'm saying. So you wanna carve out that facial area right here where you're gonna do your eyes and your little lips in there. And what you can do with that is you use white paint, but like I said, I'm gonna let this set because it needs to set before I can paint over here. So I'm gonna do a couple of layers of the black paint and let that set. I'm gonna let that set overnight. And then I'll come back in and do the eyes probably tomorrow. If not tomorrow, probably Sunday. Cause I have a, um, a Freedom Fest tomorrow um, that I need to uh, get to. So I'll be there all day. And then maybe, maybe I'll get some um, acrylic paint because the acrylic paint will be easier to work with as far as doing this more detailed part of it. It'll be much better. Okay, and then y'all see y'all see how it's already forming right see she already look cute so once you get that done then you could come in and do your little you know your little uh polka dot like that this is so much fun to do with your kids your grandkids And it'll, it'll just add such a cute little accent to your yard. And shoot, you don't even have to just do these. You can, if you're really crafty like that, you can do, um, you can even do some frogs. I might get to that, maybe. But there's, a, um, there's another one that I want to do. And I'm going to try to do that next week so I can get through these little crafts that I want to do and get off to the next one. Yep. I might be able to even do the eyes tonight. I'm not sure. But I want to be, I definitely want to be careful because I don't want to mess them up. Okay. Let's see. See, you guys. Oh, she looks cute. She just needs some eyes and some eyelashes. So, they're not finalized yet, but I'm getting close. Let me see something. Let me do this over here. do is just come around and do some more on the, the facial part add another coat
see them? Don't they look cute? And I'm going to spray paint her some more. And then she'll be ready to get painted up. Let me get him back here. See? Easy peasy. And it's fun. Let me bring it in closer so you guys can see them. They look so cute. I just got to get the eyes on there. Y'all see? So, that is my cement project that I'm working on. And like I said, if they dry fast tonight, I might come back and get the eyes in there. But if not, I'll just do a, a little video for you guys showing how the eyes came out and everything. Yep. And I might spray these with some type of acrylic um, clear gloss or something like that to keep them prote protected being that they're going to be out in the yard in the rain and stuff like that. Put some type of coating on it to protect them. But yeah, you guys. So here's my little cutie pie cement. Yeah, ladybug. So I hope y'all guys enjoyed this uh, this video. And I will definitely bring you a finished look of it. But it's pretty much finished. I just got to do the eyes and things like that. And it's done. Easy peasy, you guys. So go make some, you some um, cement ladybugs. All right, you guys. This is Essie the Gardener. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, hit the notification button. Thank you to all my new subbies. I hope you guys are enjoying my content. I hope you guys is learning from me and other gardeners in the community. That is awesome. So, um... Yeah, you guys, so y'all get busy and make y'all some cement, uh, cement uh, decor projects to put around your house and in your yard and stuff like that. And have fun with it. Y'all might be more uh, crafty than me. So even if y'all have some uh, input or, yeah, some input or other ideas or other things to make, just drop me a line. Give me a comment. I might be able to get to it. I may not. But I'm off to the next project. And again, I'll bring y'all a finished product of how they eyes look <laughs> when I get to the eye part. But yeah, you guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys on the next video. This is Essie the Gardener. Peace, love, and light. Hit the subscribe button so you guys will be notified of the next video that's up. Okay, you guys, this is Essie. I'm out. Peace.